last. Yeah. We both had some. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, kiddo. Hi. You ready to go for your big birthday dinner? Uh, not just yet. I, I think they're going to throw a little surprise birthday party for me. Oh. How do you know that? Well, you see that huddle over there? Yeah. Bet my cake's in the middle of it. You know that. I smell wax melting. <laughs> <laughs> you really believe you're Santa Claus, don't you? Hmm. Oh, I believe this is yours, isn't it? <laughs> Lana? A pleasure. Bull. Thank you, Elizabeth. Hey, uh -huh. about what I said before. Oh, don't worry. I didn't believe you either. <laughs> Where'd this come from? I didn't write this. My scribe sister mentioned she reworked it a bit. No one reworks me. I'm an editor. You're the editor of a high school paper. This is college. Vive la différence. <laughs> and what does that mean? You're in the French club. Figure it out. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something, Toots. There's nothing you can do that I can't do better. Oh, really? Name it. I could throw a football farther than you. I could play chess better than you. I could outrun you. I could outwrestle you. I can outbox you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm not afraid. Come on, right now. Get out those chess pieces. Is that enough, Dad? Samantha, I heard what you said about me out there. What do you mean? I don't know what you're talking Sam. about. Sam. I didn't mean it. It just kind of happened. Yeah, well, you know, you can't be and you shouldn't be ashamed of who you are. I mean, if there's one thing your mother and I tried to teach you, that was it. I'm here and I'm going to make the most of it as I start my assault on the world record for marathon broadcasting. 20 days and five hours. Coming at you from the cloud cover, Cincinnati, is WKRP's Dr. Johnny Fever on the air, in the air. My, 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 my. <laughs> oh, I have had an interesting day. I doubt you could top mine. Well, I wouldn't be so sure. <laughs> a few hours ago, a colleague of mine, Officer Walbeck, gave me a ring and said he had just ticketed a vehicle belonging to one Louis Lundgren. The vehicle in question was allegedly parked illegally at the airport. Hey, that's you, Lou. <laughs> Proof that as women of the 90s, we are no longer going to let men define our identities, okay? Hmm. Mom, guess what? Hmm. Ice Drake gave me a new nickname. I'm Snow Cone, because I'm cool and sweet. <laughs> Come on, Snow Cone, let's take you next door and thaw some sense into you. I mean, my parents being together, I mean, I have counted on that my whole life, through school and college and then struggling after college. And, you know, when I didn't know what I was doing or where I was going, at least I had... Their marriage was like a rock, the one solid rock for me. Oh, well, maybe it was more like a stone, right? And now it has passed. And watch how I stick the landing. Kitty. Donna, I am perfectly happy to bring you to physical therapy, but I draw the line at playing the Romanian judge. And the crowd goes wild. I'm about to do a load of laundry. Last chance to change your underwear. I'm good. Oh, uh, but you might want to hold off on the washing machine. I think uh, Charlie and his friend are still in the shower. Uh, I'll check. I wouldn't wait for me to get that. Oh. Hello. Oh. What 
if the owner of Prince Family Paper has a beautiful daughter and we have to seduce her in order to get their secrets? I will seduce her. No, I want to seduce her. I'll seduce her. Let me seduce I, her. No, no, Michael, no, 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 please. No, no, no. I, I got her. her. You'll fall in love with her. Yeah? So what if I did? That would take precedence and I would expect your support. Without her, Charlotte and I